Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about painting alpha images inside Nomad Sculpt. So, okay, let's see. So, when you're using brushes here, you have here your alpha images, and um, yeah, you can create it inside uh, Nomad Sculpt. So, uh, there are two options, but I show you here um, the, um, the method to create it um, inside uh, the app. So you can create such uh, pattern brushes for scales or something. Okay, so let's start with a new scene. I delete everything. Reset the view. And you need for this a plane here, a plane primitive. And here reset it. And you can validate the object. And here in, um, on the side menu, use the snapping 90 degrees and bring it in the front view like this. So, and make sure that the the white color is uh, upside down. So here's a front face. So you can check it here in the material settings and here is an option here, press always unlit. So you see here, this is the back face, it's a little bit brown and this is the front face. So here you see it's a pure white color so select white so and paint all okay you can also use uh, a black canvas so use the same setting here and paint all then you can paint in white or you can use a white canvas and paint in black Okay, here in the, the view cube, um, press on front and lock the view. So here locked. This is your canvas. And here you see your wireframe. We need much more topology. So here multi-resolution, here's a linear subdivision checkbox and subdivide it up to one million. So we need a, a million. Okay, the next thing is here, um, you can set a, a view. Here you see, here in the render settings, you can set here a transparent background and a square image. And you can set here the resolution here. Um, so, and you see here at the moment, um, your your borders here. This is a square border. So when you pick here the 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 ring here, or the green direction, this one, you can scale your um, your plane that it fits inside the uh, the export border. So and then press here on the camera and add a view. So every time you press here the view, it fits in the correct cutting frame. So like this, but you can scale it here. Um, the next thing is you set it here, um, here to unlit the material this is correct and the next uh, important thing is here in the post process settings here activate the post processing and deselect everything so uh, only this last point the dissering is option is important make sure that dissering is off 
So, okay. We need it for the export at the end. And now here, use your, your paint tool here and choose, not roughness, choose here a pure black color. Roughness is okay. So, and the next thing here, you can change here your fall off a little bit if you like. So when you paint here, you get something like this. And when your fall off is like this, then it's a little bit different. Um, so you get this shape nearly in the alpha when you paint with it. So you can test what happens. So I use at the moment this one here or this. So and remember here the pressure settings um, are now active. Um, you can use it or not. So let's test it. And yeah, symmetry is active or not. And let's draw. A nice alpha. Something like this. Okay. Now go to your view. Set it um, that it's centered here. And here in the render settings choose transparent background and export as PNG. So now it's possible to save this image and press done. So we can bring in... Um, so, um, sorry, um, here it's possible to, to save this. Um, um, when you use here the settings here, save as and create a new file and uh, save it as alpha. So this is um, your project and you can reopen it every time. And it's also possible, so when I go back here, when you add here a layer, um, and save it again. Um, you can reuse this every time to create your alphas here. Um, so now draw again your shape here and press on the camera view and export it. So Okay, the next thing is we can test our, our brush. Let's bring in a, a sphere, validate the object and we need more topology, subdivide it a few times. So the wireframe looks like this. And okay. And use the brush tool or the stamp brush and here in the brush settings here you can change now your alpha image so press import and use this one here in the alpha settings you can invert the pixels and yeah, what do we need? Stroke settings, yeah, and test it. And um, we can use it a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. 
so you got here your nice brush and so you can replace your image with the other one and so let's test this one Nice. So I think the post-processing is uh, not really needed because the dissering option is, um, yeah, the dissering makes the uh, alpha grainy um, because in the version before it doesn't work correctly. So I think it's only possible with version 179 to make these clear alphas here. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.